Hi, I'm Brian Leach from the South East London Meccano Club. Um, this is my pin table, which uh, I started on in early 2013. And um, now it's uh, September 2016, and it's actually time to uh, dismantle it. So this is sort of like a final showing at the uh, Henley Gathering. Um, just describe some of the uh, sections. Um, this is the digit counter. It has four reels on it. Um, it would be nice to operate that just by electromagnets, but Meccano electromagnets aren't very powerful. So what you, you actually have is a motor continuously running, trying to turn the reels, but the reels are stopped by an escapement. Um, and the electromagnets um, operate the escapement, allowing the reels to turn by a temp. Um, a slightly more difficult thing is to actually reset the digit counter to zero. Uh, that's done by disengaging all the escapements so, so the reels freely turn. But some stops are introduced to stop the reels just after nine. Um, and then the reset mechanism disengages and the reels just make that final little movement onto uh, zero. Uh, this is a, a timer mechanism. The, the pinball has a times 10 mode. Um, so one, once times 10 activates, this dial here goes over to the uh, right and then it turns clockwise. And finally, when it gets to about here, the times 10 cancels. Uh, so that's the times 10 mechanism. Uh, actually, on the play field, uh, we have seven lanes. And these here, we have um, sort of like uh, one and a half inch uh, corner brackets, which, um, which the ball goes over and it, it pushes down a very carefully pivoted mechanism. That the um, pivoting has to be very fine, finely balanced. And also the electrical contact has to be very close to the pivot. Uh, so that it, um, there's a minimum force on the pivot, uh, quite difficult to do. Um, lower down, these are just um, standing targets which go back and score a hundred. Um, more interesting here are two kick-out holes. Uh, the kick-out holes work, the, the ball rests there and then a pull pushes the ball out, kicks the ball out. Uh, the kick operation is done just done by a tension spring, that's all tension spring releasing. And then a motor uh, comes in to retension the tension spring for the next kick. These are the most disappointing part of the pin table because they don't work very well. Uh, they're pop bumpers. So the ball comes against the pop bumper and the pop bumper goes down and pushes the ball away from it. Um, that's done with a continuously running motor and an electromagnet which operates a clutch to quickly push them down. Um, Lower down still, we have uh, drop targets, uh, so that normally there'd be all three would be up, and then you'd hit the ball on them, and um, they go down like so. Um, once they're all down, uh, the, a motor starts up to put them all back up again, and these once these are all down, that's actually what operates the times ten mechanism. Um, here we have the flippers, and um, that's quite a simple arrangement. That's another continuously running motor, and each flipper has an electromagnet which operates a clutch again. And there's quite a bit of force in those flippers. We'll easily get the ball right over to the back. Um, we have the plunger here, which is just sprung, and that gets the ball into play. When the ball goes out of play, we want to get the ball back to the plunger. And that's done with more tension springs to get the ball back to the plunger lane. And um, the tension springs are once again retensioned by a motor. Also in that mechanism, there's a, uh, uh, a 95 tooth gear wheel. So that's a, from its pinion, that's a five to one reduction. And that, that turns by a fifth for each ball. And um, and once it gets to uh, its end point, it switches off the whole machine and it, it's game over. Um, this is the reset button here. Just press that for a second and that does about three different things. It puts the digit counter to zero, 
it resets the times 10 times uh, and it brings all the flags up. Finally, two flipper buttons either side. And uh, now I'll give you a demonstration play.